cargo handling equipments. We all know material handling equipment is all equipment that relates to the movement, storage control and protection of materials, goods and products throughout the process of distribution, consumption and disposal. In this lesson, we will study cargo handling gear, cargo handling aids, materials handling equipment, cranes and helicopter positioning dolly. After going through this presentation, you should be able to discuss cargo handling gear, explain the general purpose gear and special purpose gear, describe cargo handling aids and material handling equipment, discuss the cranes and helicopter positioning dolly and explain container handlers. MHE makes moving cargo through terminal more efficient. When material handling is applied to the cargoes, it's called cargo handling equipment. The form of cargo handling equipment employed is basically determined by the nature of the actual cargo and the type of packing used. The subject of handling facilities raises the important question of mechanization. Cargo handling gear is used to secure cargo while it is being raised or lowered by the ship's gear. It also moves cargo to and from its stowage position in the ship. Proper training in the selection and use of cargo handling gear is necessary for safe and efficient cargo operations. General purpose gear is used with many types of cargo. This type of gear includes endless slings, single slings, combination slings, chain slings and canvas slings. The ends of slings are usually made up into eyes either with or without thimbles. The eyes fit on the cargo hook and attached to the drafts or loads of cargo. By these eyes, a sling is joined to another sling, a hook or a ring, either directly or by using a shackle. Thimbles in the eyes strengthen the sling by protecting it from sharp bends around pins, hooks, shackles, links, rings and similar objects. Splicing the ends of a piece of wire or fiber rope makes an endless sling. A single sling is made of fiber or wire rope. Each end of the single sling is made up with an eye, a hook, a ring or a thimble depending on the intended use of the sling. Combination slings combine two or four single slings to form a bridle, basket or choker sling. Combination slings can lift virtually any type of load. Chain slings are used mainly for handling steel rails, pipes, beams and angles. Chain slings are used in bridles or single legs. A canvas sling is a rope sling with a section of canvas sewn between the ropes. Special purpose gear is made for use with certain types of cargo. It includes cargo nets, pie plates, pallets, bridles and plate handling clamps. Cargo nets are usually made of manila rope. But nets of wire rope are used for special cargoes. Cargo nets are used to handle loose packages that are not all the same size. The package must be strong enough to withstand pressure. When making up a draft in a cargo net, cargo handlers should stack the cargo so that the crushing effect of the net is kept to a minimum. Pie plates are constructed of two dunnage layers. If pie plates or pallets are not available, cargo handlers use cargo boards to reduce the crushing pressure of the cargo net. The four basic types of pallets used in military cargo handling are the stevedo general purpose, sled and warehouse pallets. A stevedo pallet which is reversible is used to handle loose cargo at water terminals. A general purpose pallet is a four-way entry wood pallet 48 inches long, 40 inches wide and approximately five and a half inches high. A spreader is any device used to keep the side pressure of the sling legs away from the load being hoisted. Bridles are lifting devices designed to hoist special types of cargo. They may be used in conjunction with spreaders. Pallet bridles are used for quick efficient handling of palletized cargo. Beam bridles are used to remove hatch beams from their sockets. Vehicle bridles are used for efficient handling of various types of vehicles. Heavy duty bridles are used to reduce side pressure on heavy lifts. Plate handling clamps are designed exclusively for handling steel plates. They are used to lift the plates into position to be properly slung with wire rope slings. Cargo handling aids are used to help handle cargo. These include items such as wedge point bars or pinch bars, 
rulers and taglines. Wedge point bars have a wedge shaped working end for prying. They are used to shift heavy cases into position over short distances with a grease like substance called skid compound. For longer distances, cargo handlers use the wedge point bar to pry the case up high enough to get rollers under it. Personnel use rollers to move cargo from wings and ends of a hatch to the square of the hatch. Pallet type truck dollies or pallet dollies consist of a steel frame and eight bar rollers. Cargo handlers may land pallets of cargo on truck dollies in the square of the hatch. Cargo handlers can place empty pallets on the dollies in the wings. When loaded with cargo, the dollies are pulled into the square of the hatch to be placed in position for hoisting the cargo. Single rollers are round bars of wood, steel or steel pipe. The rollers included in the general hatch cargo set are made of hardwood and are 3 by 3 4 inch in diameter and 4 feet long. Single rollers are used to move heavy cargo in a hold. Gravity conveyors are normally made in 10 foot sections. They may be either wheel or roller type. Tag lines are long lengths of light line made fast to long items of cargo and heavy lifts for the purpose of controlling the swing of the draft as it is being hoisted or lowered. Forklifts used in military brake bulk cargo operations range in capacity from 4,000 to 15,000 pounds. The three types of forklifts you will most likely encounter are gas-powered commercial forklifts, electric forklifts and diesel-powered rough terrain forklifts. Commercial forklifts handle cargo on the pier, in the warehouse and in the hold of a ship. Electric forklifts handle military explosives in the hold of a ship. Rough terrain forklifts move cargo off the road and over unimproved or soft surfaces such as deep sand, mud and snow. A warehouse tractor is a short, compact vehicle with a short turning radius. It is usually equipped with a sheet steel bumper for pushing other equipment. Further, it has a towing hitch in the rear for towing a train of warehouse trailers and other equipment. A warehouse trailer is a wheeled vehicle for transporting cargo over smooth surfaces. It is generally pulled by a tractor but can be pushed as a four-wheeled hand truck. Hand trucks are used for moving packages too heavy to be moved by hand. Some hand trucks have folding wings and curved braces between the legs so they can carry drums and barrels as well as other types of packages. The pallet jack is a low-level hydraulic lift suitable for the horizontal movement of certain types of pallets. One person can operate this jack. Additionally, the jack is low enough to be passed through the opening in the bottom of a pallet. However, when the pallet is raised, the rear wheels must have clearance to reach the floor or deck. Cranes use a projecting swinging arm to lift, swing and lower loads which cannot be reached by other equipment or are too bulky or too heavy to be moved otherwise. Since their chief advantage is their reach, they should never be used to carry a load from one place to another except for short distances. The four types of cranes are rough terrain cranes, floating cranes, gantry cranes and truck mounted cranes. Rough terrain cranes are designed for operating in rough terrain. One rough terrain crane with a 20 ton capacity and a 30 foot boom is equipped with an earth moving blade for improving beach working area or making its own path in unimproved terrain. Floating cranes are mounted on barges vary in lifting capacity. Some commercial cranes have capacities up to 240 long tons. The legs of the cranes are supported on wheels that run on tracks on the pier apron. Operators use gantry cranes for loading and disvarging barges, rail cars and trucks, for handling heavy lifts aboard vessels, for handling general cargo in place of the ship's gear. A truck mounted crane is a commercially designed vehicle with a hydraulically operated boom assembly mounted on a carrier chassis. It has tandem axles, front and rear, dual rear tires and a 24 inch wheelbase. The helicopter positioning dolly moves skid or wheel mounted helicopters laterally or sideways to the designated stowage positions aboard ship. 
They are especially useful aboard RORO ships. These dollies make a tight stow possible when loading helicopters. The helicopter positioning dolly is made up of two 4-ton capacity hydraulic service jacks. The bars slide in and out of the beam, one to the left and one to the right. This extends the width or reach of the beam to conform to the width distance between of the skids or wheels of the helicopter. A triangular piece of steel plate shaped like a coat hanger is secured to the ends of the sliding at right angles and secured in place. They are positioned side by side and spaced 35 inches apart. A 4 inch eye beam approximately 5 feet long is welded across the lifting pads of the two jacks. A 4 inch wide strip of steel plate is welded full length to both sides of the eye beam to form a box beam with a vertical partition down the middle. The two cavities receive and hold a snug fitting tempered steel bar machined to fit. Ports often have cargo handling equipment such as cranes operated by longshoremen and forklifts for use in loading ships which may be provided by private interest or public bodies. Often canneries or other processing facilities will, will be located nearby. Some ports feature canals which allow ships further movement inland. Access to intermodal transportation such as trains and trucks are critical to a port so that passengers and cargo can also move further inland beyond the port area. Forklift trucks are manufactured in different sizes and are classed by weight. Ships officers are advised that the truck itself is a heavy load and will be fitted with a counterweight which provides stability to the working vehicle when transporting loads at its front end. Derricks, cranes and winches together with their associated fittings form the cargo handling equipments on board the ship. Single man drive and control is the key feature of the crane. Shipboard heavy duty cranes end to be more labor saving than derricks but if comparisons are made for that heavier load capacity and greater lifting capability then the modern heavy lift derrick must remain dominant. Bulk cargo handling equipment gantries move not only parallel to the quay but also run back for considerable distances and so cover a large stacking area and are able to plumb the ship's hold. The movement of liquid bulk cargo, crude oil and derivatives from the tanker is undertaken by means of pipelines connected to the shore based storage tanks. General cargo is handled by cranes on the quay, floating cranes or by ship's own cargo gear. Cargo nets are suitable for mail bags and similar cargoes that are not liable to be crushed when hoisted. A lot of terminal or port cargo handling equipment is provided to facilitate movement of the cargo to and from the ship side and transit shed, warehouse, barge, railway wagon or road vehicle. Gantry cranes are extensively found shoreside in the container terminals. The gantry structure tends to be a dominant feature and is subject to extensive maintenance attention. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Each end of the combination sling is made up with an eye, a hook, a ring or a thimble. Right or wrong? Wrong. Cargo nets are used to handle loose packages that are not all the same size. Right or wrong? Right. Bridles are lifting devices designed to hoist special types of cargo. They may be used in conjunction with spreaders. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Material handling is defined as the art and science of moving, packaging and storing of substances in a form. The scope of material handling activity within an organization depends on the type of product manufactured, the size of the organization, the value of the product and the value of the activity being performed and the relative importance of materials handling to the enterprise. The application of material handling in ports for moving cargoes into ships is called cargo handling. Cargo handling is one of the key determinant of efficiency and effectiveness of port operation. It is one of the key drivers of efficiency and effectiveness of port operations. 
Another import aspect of the decision is the high cost involved with the cargo handling equipments. Hence, optimum utilization is the key focus.